I'm Gail Dyer, I'm team leader and visitor centre manager here at the Essex Wildlife Trust at Hanningfield Reservoir. There have been rumours circulating that a very famous Hollywood star um, might be camping out in Mr Toad's caravan. Could you just check? I'll check. No, no sign. I'm no sign of who? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? What, why would Brad Pitt be here? Um, well, apparently we've heard rumours that he's filming a film in the vicinity, um, possibly the sequel to World War Z. Did he film here in the original, the first movie of World War Z? He did. He, uh, he filmed just around the other side of the reservoir. Did he? Did he have to have permission to film there? I think he did, yeah. Wow. Did you manage to get a selfie with him? No, unfortunately not. But this time? This time I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> you might come and visit us. How close did you get to him? Um, not very close at all. I didn't see him, unfortunately. There was lots of security. Well, you'll have to have it as part of the terms of the, of the contract, won't you? Yeah, You'll I will. make an effort. Yeah. Do you think he might be interested while, when he comes back in any aspect of your work here? Well, I know that Brad has got quite a big family um, and we do lots of family events. Um, for instance, we do bat evenings. We've got over 400 bats living in the roof at the moment. Lots of different activities for children. Obviously, we've got a new Wind in the Willows wildlife garden and sculpture trail soon to appear on the reserve. The Toad's Caravan, as you can see. Um, so I think if him and Angelina brought their family here, they'd have a good day out. Brad Pitt has visited here once. Are there any other famous stars that have been to the Essex Wildlife? We had the Hotel Inspector film here a couple of years ago. Um, we've had a few of the Essex and England cricketers because obviously they're quite local. Um, I think that's about all in my, my time that I've been here. So we could have a tie up here. You've got bats. Yes. You've had batsmen visiting you. <laughs> yes. What about Batman? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'd be quite uh, yeah, I'd be quite pleased if Batman came and paid us a visit. The bat colony here are thriving. We really have this year. We think it might be due to the mild winter um, that more bats have kind of survived over the winter compared to our really cold winter last year. Um, but numbers are really thriving. Uh, the pregnant females come back to the roost every spring and then have their young in the roost. So numbers increase and increase. And um, we've had a few actually recently coming into the centre, I think because numbers are getting so crowded in the roof. Um, but it's been brilliant because the children have been able to get close up views of bats just before we re-release them. Um, we do bat counts every fortnight and they all come out of the apex at the top of the roof here and other spots around the building, but mainly this end. And then we've also built a, what we call our bat hotel for them. Uh, on top of a telegraph pole behind me, uh, but mainly we found males in there, I think trying to escape the females <laughs> and the babies in the roof. <laughs> so um, yeah, they're really thriving and we do lots of bat walks and bat events at this time of year. So, um, and going back to the Hollywood theme, yep. why haven't you contacted your Hollywood agent and tell them, come on, let's do a publicity stunt. Bring Batman uh, down here. I should have. I should have. I hadn't thought of it. So uh, that's a good idea. I might try that. Batman down here with the bats would just be brilliant and surreal. <laughs> and I've noticed you're not actually selling any Batman memorabilia. You We're might, not, no. You might think no, about going into that. I think about that, that as well. Yeah, you're yeah. selling some old bats there on string, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not real, fairy they? bats. They're not real. No. Okay, no. no. We've got some fairy bats in there and Bat books and things, uh, but no, no Batman. No gear, DC so. comics. No. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of bats are there? They are soprano pipistrels. Yes. The soprano. Now that's a TV series. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Better not contact They've them. They've not been here either. <laughs> uh, so why are they sopranos? Is it the way they, the pitch of their voice? Yeah, it's the frequency. So common pipistrels are found on a different frequency to soprano pipistrels. When you're, when you, if you get a bat detector and point it to the roof. When they're coming out, they make a, a noise, and you find it at a different frequency. Well, if you had a, you could have a choir of bats. You could have you a choir. Of bats. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Gal. It's 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 a wonderful place, and it's just the place for for Brad Pitt to chill out 
with Angelina and his children. I think so, yep. And if he comes and asks for me in the office when he arrives, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> Are you going to post him a, a membership uh, uh, that might be an idea, you never know. He, he seems to come to Essex a bit lately, so he might be interested in joining the Essex Wildlife Trust. How much so. would it cost Bad Pret and his family to come here? To oh gosh, well, it's it's literally a donation. We don't charge to come in, uh, we don't charge for car parking, um, but we just encourage donations because we are a charity. But for a good day out, you can spend a day here. It's a really cheap day out for all the family, especially with some of the expensive places that you can go now and you wouldn't so. breathe a word or tip the press off he could have complete uh, he could yeah absolutely we're very discreet so no we wouldn't <laughs>